Welcome to Code with Miracle channel. Today we are going to learn control structures. What is control structures? Control structures are the blocks that analyze variables and choose direction in which to go based on given parameters. We have two different type in control structures, conditional and unconditional. In conditional itself we have two different types, branch looping. In this video we are going to learn branch types, if, if else, else if, nested if. Now let's get started. Here you can see a flowchart which describes how if works. First we will start the program and then we will get number from the user. Then we will check if number is greater than 10. If number is greater than 10, then it is true. So print num is greater than 10. Now we are going to implement this in Python. Let me switch to VS Code. First, I am going to get number from the user. You can use input built-in function to get an input from the user. Here I need enter any number. The input which you get from the user is by default a string. If you want to use any other data type then you need to type cast so here I am going to type cast it to integer then I need to write if condition if number is greater than 10 then you need to specify colon in Python we don't use curly brace to represent indentation everything is based on spaces so you need to give a tab space then you need to write the uh, statement which you want here I need to print num is greater than 10 let me save this file now I am going to run this file python then uh, file name now I am going to enter the number as uh, 11 here you can see it printed num is greater than 10 now I am going to enter number as 9 and you can see it didn't print anything because we don't have else block this we are going to learn in next type if else now let me switch into slide this is an if else example the, it is the same flow it will get the number and check number is greater than 10 if number is greater than 10 then it will print num is greater than 10 or else it will print num is less than or equal to 10 this we are going to implement in python the same step so i am going to write directly here else print num is less than or equal to 10 let me remove this here now let's rerun our code now if i enter the number as 9 you can see it given me num is less than or equal to 10 this is how if else works now let me move into else if this is the example which i am going to show you for else if first we will check if number is x is greater than sorry here uh, typo error it should be num num is greater than 10 if num is greater than 10 then just print num is greater than 10 else check another condition num is greater than or equal to 0 if num is greater than or equal to 0 then print num is greater than or equal to 0 or else print num is negative this we are going to implement in python so here we need uh, to specify the condition in else block for that in python we use else if we don't uh, write like this else if here you can see it is showing me error we write like this else if what i need to check here num is greater than or equal to 0 num is greater than or equal to 0 and in else block print uh, num is negative number 
now let me save this file and i'm going to run this file again here if i provide a negative number then here you can see it will prompt me num is negative number if i give a positive number like 0 or less than 10 then here you can see it prompted me num is greater than or equal to 0 this is how else if work now let me move into nested if so for that i am going to switch into slide this is how nested if works it will have a condition inside if that means if inside if block here first we are going to check num is greater than 10 if it is greater than 10 then we are going to print num is greater than 10 then we will check whether number is greater than 20 if number is greater than 20 then we are going to print or else we are going to terminate the execution with uh, no print statement now let's switch to vs code and implement this mostly the statement would be the same so i'm going to copy this and paste here here i don't need this uh, statement anymore so i'm going to comment them here we need to check if num is greater than 20 if num is greater than 20 then we are going to print num is here you need to specify inside a single or double quotes num is greater than 20 or else we are going to do let me switch to slide to see what statement i use there num is less than or equal to 10 so print num is less than or equal to 10 let me save my code and i'm going to rerun it this time i'm going to provide it as uh, 21 here you can see it printed two different print statement num is greater than 10 num is greater than 20 if i provide less than 20 or uh, exactly 20 on that case it will just print a single print statement num is greater than 10 if the number is less than 10 or uh, equal to 10 then it will print num is less than or equal to 10 this is how if if else else if nested if works now let me go back to slideshow yeah now we are about to end this session so the bonus is keywords or reserved words in python here if else else if sorry if else elif or keywords so please keep this in your mind and thanks for watching this video please subscribe code with miracle channel